also very fitting that this organization that we're here tonight is creating the Edward I. Koch Center for Public Policy and Jewish Ethics in Jerusalem. Mazel tov. Thank you. Ed's devotion to public service uh, of the highest integrity really is legendary, and so is his support for the state of Israel. There is no truer, better friend of Israel than Ed Koch, and in that respect, I think Ed speaks for New York City as well. And tonight, it's the first time for two very important events that I believe everyone who's here tonight will remember. One giving Mayor Koch the first award honoring by a Jewish organization. You'll hear from him about that. And secondly, what I refer to, to some people's chagrin, the best kept Israeli secret ever. And that's, an, that's a happening. Bet Marisha. You can understand how thrilled I am to be here tonight along with my husband, some of my children, some of my nieces and nephews, representing my father, Robert M. Barron, and the college bearing his name. The college was established with the hope and dream of impacting the future of the Jewish world. Its mission is to give the tools required to create thoughtful leaders who will inform their decision making with Jewish values. What a great evening this is to officially add to the work of the college the name of Edward I. Koch. I joined forces with Bet Morasha to create Jewish identity education programs for all of our officers and soldiers. And that's why I am proud to be standing here tonight as Mayor Ed Koch and Bet Morasha joined forces to create the Edward I. Koch Center for Public Policy and Jewish Ethics. So there was one particular passage that struck me, and it was passed down to my father from his father, and my father used it all the time, drilling it into our heads as kids growing up in the family. And it's from the book of Ecclesiastes, or, or Kohelet in Hebrew. Have I got that right? Thank you. And so with humility and great respect, I offer this quote to you. Whatsoever your hand findeth itself to do, do it with thy might. But I know that when Hitler, before the war in 39, offered to allow the Jews of Germany to leave if there was a country to take them, no country was willing to take them, including, regrettably, the United States. And I know that if Israel had existed, it would have taken every Jew, no matter how old, no matter how poor, no matter how infirm. And that is why I stand up whenever I can and wherever I can in support of this beleaguered nation, which has been deserted by so many nations around uh, the world. I know that there are problems, legitimate problems, and we have to respect people for their differences. And I know that's what Benny and this organization is trying desperately to do.